A quick tutorial today, how to create an FTP connection to your website. Now, why do you need an FTP connection? The reason you need one is if you want to put files from your local computer to your website server, you need to create a connection. Now, it's pretty clunky to do that through WordPress or through Wix. The best way to do it is with an FTP connection. Basically, that's connecting your server or your hard drive to the hard drive on the internet and making a connection with the two of them. Now, it's really handy, specifically if you want to do backups. Now, if you want to back up your website to your local server, which I advise you to do once a month, you need an FTP connection. Now, if you want to put files onto the internet, let's say you want to upload the WordPress operating system or you want to upload uh, plugins or other, other files, you'll need an FTP connection. So guys, it'll only take two seconds. Let's get stuck into it right now. Okay, so there's a few different ways you can do this. Now, the easiest way is to log into your cPanel. Most website server configurations will operate on a cPanel system. So all you need to do is ask your web host for your cPanel logins. If you're using something like Bluehost, uh, just simply click on cPanel or administration panel. Once you're logged into cPanel, click on FTP accounts. Next, click on add FTP account. Select the domain for your website. Create a username and password for the new FTP user. Once you've done that, cPanel will give you an FTP configuration file that you can download either for Windows or for Apple. You can see here that this particular setup of cPanel is giving us two options, one for Core FTP and one for Cyberduck. Now your particular cPanel might give you one for FileZilla. FileZilla is the most popular FTP program on the net and it's very easy to use. Once you've downloaded your FTP configuration file, simply import it into FileZilla and enter your username and password that you previously entered into your FTP account on cPanel. Now you can see a connection between your local computer and your website server, so you can easily transfer files to and from your website. Now a bonus tip for you, if you set the folder destination on both your computer and your website server, it makes things a lot easier. If you're doing a website backup for instance, all you need to do is connect and it'll drag the files from your website backup folder to your local backup folder with one click. It saves you a lot of time. I hope that helps you guys. If you need any further help, please reach out via the link above or below. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.